Welcome to the Claims Underground Podcast with your host, Corey Locke and Troy Willis, where we help policyholders just like you understand your policy and how to navigate through an insurance claim. We advocate for homeowners as well as businesses when insurance companies won't pay. So if you're tired of getting the runaround and ready to find out what's really going on, then let's get down to business and learn from the insurance claims experts, Corey Locke and Troy Willis. Hey, welcome to Claims Underground. I'm Corey Locke, and with me is my co-host, Troy Willis. Hi, I'm Troy Willis. I'm a licensed public adjuster, retired builder, expert witness, certified appraiser and umpire, and I've been doing this for about 30 years or so in the insurance industry, and we advocate for policyholders. Today's subject, I'm sorry. I'm also a public adjuster. I forgot that. I'm also a public adjuster, 35 years of experience, 26 with the carriers, and an expert witness and an estimator. And uh, we're presenting a, a bit more information about your policy. Guys, you got to know what your law is in your own state. So the first right. place you've you got to go looking for is uh, United Policyholders. They're a 50 state initiative uh, uh, organization, uphelp.org. And uphelp.org is a place that we sponsor as, as sponsors because we believe in their mandate to help uh, policyholders. And they have information that always crops up after a catastrophe. And after catastrophe, they're telling you what your state laws are. They're telling you how to advocate for yourself. They're telling you what forms you need to fill out or how you need to fill it out. They hold organizational meetings on Zoom or in place. So the best way that you can get up on your individual law and your location, start out with uphelp.org. They'll, they'll point you in the right direction. But once you get that direction, you got to dig in. You got to dig in and start asking more questions about what does this cover in my own jurisdiction? The next place to go is your, your Department of Insurance. They're going to be giving out mandates. They're going to be giving out white papers. They're going to be giving out notice to carriers. So after every event, you always see this kind of, you know, this is the track record. This is what happens. So Mudslide in other areas, other than what the one we're sitting in in California, uh, is maybe a covered peril if there was a prior fire. If there was no prior fire, probably it's not covered. Same as earthquake. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or flood. The flood, I mean, you know, when the flood happens, and not you don't got no flood coverage, but if that house catch on fire after that flood hit it, there's <laughs> a whole other story to talk about. Right. Well, you know, let's just think back. What happened to the San Francisco earthquake? Was it the earthquake that destroyed the homes or was it the fire that ensued and burned everything down? It was the fire that ensued. So fire does a cover, even though the cover, even though there's an earthquake and people are going to try to, you know, split hairs. Well, how much of this was the earthquake damage? How much just was the fire? Well, if it totally burned it down, there's not a whole lot of argument you're going to get. Everything burned down, so probably the fire. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So everything's well, an I, argument. I, I think it's a good resource to send them to United Policy Holders. I mean, United Policy Holders helps thousands of people um, around this country you know, with these catastrophes. And, you know, every time I'm at the fundraisers or we at the events, I mean, the people are so thankful. Uh, for what they've done for them and helped them through their tragic times and so forth. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be invited as one of their experts on their forum. So when people have questions about what goes on uh, with their insurance policy, you can always hit me up there for Troy Willis and we'll I'll answer that question to the best of my ability. And, uh, you know, definitely UP is an organization that, you know, it, it gets much help from outside donations to help them move forward with helping people that's affected in these type of situations. So um, definitely somebody to go online and look up and definitely try to follow and maybe even subscribe to their newsletter. But it would definitely be a good uh, point of reference for whenever you may have a claim. Uh, well, you're on, gonna, that you're, on that same vein, you're going to find that they have a lot of YouTube videos for their for their channel, uphelp.org. Yeah. You're going to find me there. You're going to find you there. I mean, we've done yeah. a number of videos uh, talking about contents, talking about uh, uh, California Fair Plan, talking about uh, uh, coverage uh, initiatives or coverage questions. Um, it's a great free resource. And when I say free, it's free, guys. Just log in, sign up, get, act get educated. 
So, you know, there are resources here. You just have to, you know, basically, basically hunker down. And uh, as I've told members of my family and I've told people that are staring at the debris in their house, uh, finding the money to pay for your stuff uh, it, it, with a claim is like digging through the debris in your in your house. If you knew there was $10,000 under this debris pile, you would roll up your sleeve and you would get dirty and you would dig down and you would get that $10,000 because you knew it was there. The same concept applies for insurance claims. If you knew there was another 10,000, 50,000, you would get on your, your, your boots and your hard hat and you get your shovel and you start digging for it and not give up until you found the money because it's there. If you are ardent enough of a, your own advocate to go after it. Absolutely. Well, I, I know that I know this information should be very effective to all those that's out there who, you know, definitely need to understand their policy. And, you know, we, we start from the beginning for a reason so we can kind of walk you through this process of what your policy is all about. So at that point, you can make more informative decisions if you have a claim or just the fact you want you may have to weaponize that information one day or for a family member or yourself. So I think, you know, understanding these different sectors of the policy is critical for these policies holders because they pay a lot of money a year for this. You know, it's almost like anything else. Would you pay, you know, especially here in California, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars for insurance and you don't go to school? Would you go there and just give them the ten thousand? No. So the difference in this, if I got to give you this much money for a policy, I should know what I'm paying for. You know, I, I tell homeowners all the time, I say, you know, look at the example when you go to the store. You'll never buy a cart full of groceries because somebody just tell you it's a thousand dollars. You want to know what's inside that cart. Why wouldn't you want to know what's inside that policy? Because not only do that cart feed you, this situation could save your life just as well. I mean, everything people have is in their home. And I've seen for 30 years plus how devastating it's been for many homeowners that's had losses, whether they was burned out their home or the home was flooded out completely or the house to sink. It starts sinking and it's got to actually come down and be torn down. Or one recently, you know, a water main break and flood more than a million gallons through the house on a, on a home that's on a hillside. You know, things you never expect to happen to you. Never. And yet, has, if you only had a better understanding, you might not feel as bad as some people do when this all happens. Mm -hmm. Insurance company's not the friend. We'll never get a Christmas card from none of them, that's for sure. But they're not these people friends, you know, and that's that's one of the things that, you know, we, we hear so often, you know, my insurance card, I've been with them for 50 years, they'll never do me wrong. And then we get that call saying, I can't believe how bad they're doing my family. They've been paying the premiums for 50 years. Well, you know, we all good, like, you know, your agent, I'm, 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 I'm here for the commission. I'm not here to make you upset or, you know, make you feel any kind of way other than, happy and positive to give me this money. And that's what it come down to. They just don't be as happy and positive giving you back money if you have a claim. So, you know, I, I think this is very helpful for everybody. And as we always end the show, uh, what would we like to leave our people with today? I will let you be the answer to that. What would you like to leave? With? I think that uh, what we try to say every single time is it's within your power and grasp to uh, be your own best advocate, but you just have to want it and you have to want it more than the person telling you no. No is only an answer right now. No is not forever. Couldn't, couldn't have said that better, I swear. Well, until next time, Troy Wallace. Corey Locke. And we're out. We'll see you on our next segment. Please join us for our next segment on duties after a loss. Thanks for listening to the Claims Underground podcast. We hope you enjoyed this segment. If you need more information on insurance policies, feel free to check out our website, www.claimsunderground.com. And remember, when the insurance companies won't pay, we're here to help. Until next time.